here at Adafruit, we're really excited about the launch of Flora, our wearable electronics platform that's Arduino compatible. And today I've got a project to get you started with no soldering. It's this LED brooch and it uses our Flora RGB smart pixels and some freehand wiring to hook it all up. Let me show you how to do it. You can use almost any kind of wire for this project. I'll be using this solid core hookup wire and I'll use wire strippers to remove the insulation at one end. Although you can also use completely uninsulated wire for this project. Insert the wire into the hole marked D6 on the Flora and wrap it around to make a tight connection. Wrap the wire around itself a few times and cut off any excess to make a nice tight connection that doesn't wiggle. Repeat this process for the pin marked G and D for ground and then add one more wire at the hole marked VBAT, which is the voltage coming out of the battery. Don't forget to check out the tutorial for this project on the Adafruit Learning System, which includes a fancy wiring diagram. Now you have three wires connected to the Flora. The ground and power wires will remain long, connecting between all three of the pixels, but the center wire you should cut short to connect to the first pixel's input. This is the pin marked with the little inward pointing arrow. The pixels will chain together and are individually addressable, meaning you can tell each one to be a different color if you like. If your wire is insulated, remove the rest of the insulation from the remaining section of the power and ground wires, but don't cut them because they'll connect all three pixels together. The pixels in the flora were designed to work together, and the pins you'll notice are all in the right order, ground, signal, and power, marked by a plus sign on the pixels, and the ground is marked with a little minus sign. To add a second pixel to your chain, use a new wire to connect to the outward pointing arrow on the previous pixel. This will connect to the inward pointing arrow on the next pixel, and so forth. As before, connect the power and ground wires to this new pixel. Repeat this process for as many pixels as you'd like in your design. Electrically, everything marked ground or with a minus sign is connected together, so if you're looking for a little extra wire stability for a design that wraps around the flora, you can connect another wire to the ground pin on the flora and connect it to your minus sign on one of your pixels. There. It's pretty nice. Stable. Not wiggly. Next, plug in your USB cable. You can download the Flora software from the Getting Started with Flora guide, and it's a modified version of Arduino with all of the changes for Flora baked right in. Start by running the pixel test code, and then when that works, you can change it to make any kind of animation or color changing you'd like. The yellow lights on board will blink when your program is uploading, and then your sketch will run, animating colors as you desire. A handy thing is this adhesive pin back that sticks right onto the back of the flora and then I can pin it to my shirt or jacket. To power the flora, we recommend this 3 AAA battery holder. It's the easiest and safest thing to do, but it does leave you with a bit of a big battery pack. So I prefer these rechargeable lithium polymer batteries. They have some extra safety concerns that you should read about in the project documentation. But they certainly are lighter, smaller, and will hold a charge for longer. Just slide the battery into your pocket and use the pin back to attach it to your garment. We're even testing out these teeny tiny lithium polymer batteries that you can stick right behind the flora. So I hope I've inspired you to get out there and make your own wearable project, and if you do, share it with us in the Adafruit Flickr pool or on our weekly show and tell on Google+. And as always, don't forget to subscribe to our channel here on YouTube.